Hill sponsors Martin vs. Joshua on Sky Sports Box Office. This is James Elder for iPhone TV in association with Matt Clinch, Jim Marbauer. I'm quite fortunate enough to be joined by Isaac Chamberlain. We're in Brixton in McGill's Jim, How are you, mate? I'm good, I'm good. I'm just uh, training hard. Yes. You know, working hard, dedicated to my craft. That's what I'm doing, just working on my craft. I see you're always in the gym, day in, day out. There's not a time where you've not got a date, you're still in the gym, ticking over. So I've seen your sort of fans and your people on the case as to when will you be in action. You've seen an opponent be named for yourself and a date. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, two weeks, uh, April the 16th. In Leeds, uh, the opponent's Russ Henshaw. He's uh, undefeated, seven and zero. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take it, we're gonna take that win, you know. And uh, I'm just I'm focused. I'm, I've been you know focused and intense training camp. So um, I'm just looking forward to showing everyone what I've been doing in the gym. A real step up in a position for yourself, and a real, real simply like tough test in, in Henshaw. He's undefeated, he's going to put it all on the line, as are you. So, how excited are you that you're getting these sort of fights? Yeah, it's, it's better than fighting journeyman, you know. You know, because when you get to that level, when you get to the top, you can stay at the top because you've experienced, um, you've had these tough tests. Like, my last tough test was with um, Martin Granger. You know, he won the International Masters title. They say he beat Wadi Camacho in the prize fighter. You know, but obviously he didn't get the decision. You know, he's he's had, I think, I don't know, 15 wins. Uh, so I don't even remember his record, but, you know. He's an experienced good, fighter, isn't he? Yeah. He's been around. These, these are the type of tests that I need, you know. And uh, just to elevate and, and get better as a fighter, you know. So, how the old school guy is doing it, the best fighting the best. And I want to be in the mix, you know, in the cruiserweight division of the best fighting the best. So, I want to risk it every time I step into that ring. So, um, you know, I don't really want to fight, be fighting journey, man, because that's where I kind of get bored in the ring and you get careless sometimes, you know. So, um, all I'm doing, I'm just working hard, just working as hard as I can to be the best that I can be. Spoke to your hero, mentor, and sort of life guru slash stepfather, Johnny Nelson, again. He, he holds you in such high regard, and he's so pleased with the sort of the way you're conducting yourself and going about your boxing. And of course, I really enjoyed your Sky Sports documentary as well. I thought it was, oh, thank you. It was really good, man. I thought you'd come across well. Thank you. Um, yeah, Johnny Johnny's a, is a very cool guy, you know. Um, you know, me and him are very close. Like, he gives me a lot of advice about boxing and how everything works. You know, so, um, yeah, I really like Johnny, you know. He's helped me out a lot, especially at the start of my career. Before I had my debut, he, he helped me out a lot, giving me a lot of advice. Paul Smith as well, he gave me a lot of, ad of advice before my debut, you know, so I'm just trying to learn from the people that have been there already. Yes. And like, even when I'm at home, I'm studying boxing, but I don't just study boxing. I look at the interviews with guys like Bernard Hopkins, how they live their life, Andre Ward, the little documentary, the little things you got, you can take out and then put it into your arsenal and, and, and make it how you live your life, you know, so it's a short career, so... I'm trying to do everything I can to make sure, you know, I'm always in the best shape. I'm living in the gym. I don't go clubbing. I don't go partying. I don't have many friends because I'm mostly in the gym. So I'm trying to put, dedicate myself. I remember Sugar Ray Leonard said something. He was like, dedicate five years of your life to get to the top when you start to see the big money and stuff. Dedicate five years completely to boxing, live, breathe, you know, sleep boxing, and then, and then dedicate yourself to get to that stage, make your money, save your money as well. He tells a lot of young fighters to save your money because they always want to have flashy cars and stuff. You know, I just want to be, you know, financially stable at the end of my career. I want to be okay, you know. And um, it's all about working on your craft. I'm, I'm trying to work on my craft every day in the gym, you know, and, and be really um, dedicated. So that's what, that's what I'm trying to do, you know. Speaking of someone who personifies dedication, Anthony Joshua takes on Charles Martin for the IBF world title this Saturday. Yeah. I know he's a big hero of yours, Anthony, from the way he conducts himself in and out of the ring. Yeah, yeah, I like How I like excited are you for this fight? Yeah, it's a very, very exciting fight, you know. Um, I, don't, I don't think Joshua has faced the southpaw 
Uh, we don't know how he is against the southpaw, mm -hmm. you know, um, especially a very experienced technical southpaw in Charles Martin. But people, people underestimate Charles Martin as well. It's the same thing I said about um, him facing Dylan. People don't really know Dylan like the way I know Dylan. So they, they didn't know he was going to come out and give such a performance like that. Because I know he, no matter what, he's going to go out like hard on his sleeve. So, um, you know, they, like, same thing with Charles Martin. We don't, they, the British don't really know him. And, uh, you know, it, it would be a very good fight. Like, the, the best thing about it is that it's heavyweight boxing. It's any, any punch can change it. It's very unpredictable. You know, so, um, we, we just got to see, you know. Well, listen, hopefully it's a good contest on Saturday, but more importantly for yourself, you'll be looking to the week after two leads. I'll be in Leeds for the five weeks, so I know that I'll catch you up at the press conference and at the weigh-in. Definitely. Thank you very much for your time TV, mate, and I'll catch you Thank you to everyone tuning in, you know, I appreciate everything. William Hill sponsors Martin vs. Joshua on Sky Sports Box Office.